Cool. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, at the time of recording, it is February 14th. It's Valentine's Day. So if you're like me and don't have anyone to love, drop a like. If you didn't know, I have a new prospect added. Wide receiver in the draft. I wonder who that is. <clears throat> Marvin Harrison Jr. So, um, yeah. Um, today, we're going to be doing power rankings. Let me take out my notes that I definitely wrote down and I'm not making up on the spot. Uh, oh, oh, God. Now let me just uh check these power rankings that I'm definitely not making up on the spot. Okay, guys. So anyways, uh, let's get into these. Uh, I definitely took more than an hour doing these. Definitely didn't take two minutes. Two minutes two minutes doing these um let's just get into it and at number 10 we have the it should appear right there you see it right there did it appear yet appear i'm killing that appear come on man you're, you're embarrassing me come on We're, oh, oh yeah there it is um the cincinnati Bengals. i'm putting them at 10 obviously last year was a horrible year for them um very injury <laughs> Joe Barrow got injured, which really held back their season, and they did not end up missing the playoffs because of it. So I do think that they will be a lot better this year, and so that's why I'm putting them at number 10. At number 9, we have the old America's team, the Dallas Cowgirls, because I just... How do I put this? They can't win the playoffs. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, that, that, <coughs> sorry, my... <coughs> Sorry, sorry, I was the Cowboys. I was choking in the playoffs. Anyways, the Dallas Cowboys, great roster, amazing offense, amazing defense, honestly, good team. Deron Bland set the single season single season pick six records, um, which was great. They have CD Lamb and easily top five receiver last year. And so it goes up from here, I guess, if your players if you get a good draft, um, you don't choke in the playoffs like every year you do. Seriously, Cowboys, how did you lose to the number seven seed? I guess the Packers were really good. Which brings me to number eight, actually. Not the Packers, but the Matthew Stafford-led Rams. Uh, this team is a young, amazing talent. I do think Cooper Cup will be regressing slowly. But Puka Nakua will step up and Tutu Atwell a bit under the radar amazing draft class last year especially uh kobe turner i think uh somebody saw so another person on the defensive line i can't remember the name on the head and i hope that they can do it this year again because um it was just really fun to watch their team amazing offense and their defense should be getting better uh concerns are obviously matthew stafford cooper cup getting a bit too old and aaron donald but Let's just hope that this team can be great this year. And, um, yeah. And at number seven, we have another young team in the Houston Texans. In the Houston Texans, they have been an amazing team so this year. Um, CJ Stroud, honestly, way better looking so far than um, Bryce Young. Bryce Young has been put in a bad team. We're not here to talk about him. We're here to talk about the Offensive Rookie of the Year, CJ Stroud. Tank Dell was amazing, too. Uh, I forgot his name. Shoot, the other wide receiver on the Texans. But anyways, uh, other than him, they're amazing. Defense, uh, a couple of concerns. Mostly that I don't know anybody on their defense. Derek Stingley Jr. Maybe I'm just uneducated, but no big splash players like someone who you just immediately say, oh yeah, that guy's amazing. Um, maybe I'm just forgetting someone and you guys can clown me, but uh, offense has been amazing through the past. I hope that they keep going great. Um, Tank Dell, CJ Stroud, that's all I can really say. Laramie Tunsil has been good. Uh, yeah. Moving on to number six, an NFC North rival, the Green Bay Packers. You know, I wanted to put them at 32, maybe 33. 
it's because of their defensive coordinator. I'm sorry. He had some good games, some bad games. It was just so inconsistent. You don't know where to go. Uh, you need to hire somebody new. And that's exactly what they did when they hired Jeff. Who? Apparently, he was a coach at Boston College or something. But he's the new defensive coordinator a lot better than Joe Barry, who was on this team when they went 0-16. I would love to say that uh, Jordan Love has been a bust, but... Sadly, I can't. I don't know what they do. I don't know what kind of magic they have possessed to get three Hall of... Well, we don't know about Jordan Love completely yet, but as he's been playing, three Hall of Fame QBs in a row. Like, amazing. He, he's just been lighting it up. A couple of young mistakes because he's still a young QB, but he, he, has, he has such a good future ahead of him. I hate that. I really do. I do. I. I want. I want him to throw every intercept. I want him to throw more interceptions than Josh Allen and Dak Prescott combined. But sadly, that can't happen. They have such a good future ahead of them. And um, can we talk about Aaron Jones? Aaron Jones, an amazing running back. He's been great. Who else is except for AJ Dillon? Sadly, he hasn't been too productive this year. A couple of good games, but not that many. And then on the wide receivers, one of my favorite young prospects has been Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed has been such an amazing speed, uh, you know, player. I, he's been taking some rushes, I'm pretty sure. And I, I, he looks like a great player. And on to number five, we got the Buffalo Bills. This team, I really want them to just go to the Super Bowl and win it. I just want them to win now. I'm sorry. Last year, I the this year I wanted the Lions Bills Super Bowl. One of, that would have been something I liked. Lions Bills, Lions Texans, Lions Browns, anything Lions really. Anyways, yeah, I really wanted them to finally succeed, but um, that just hasn't been happening. Josh Allen, costly turnovers. Um, Stephon Diggs has been just not as good. I mean, he's good. He's, he's an amazing receiver, but not as good as last year. He will be slowing down production. And um, Gabe Davis, uh, one of their wide receivers. Their defense, uh, they traded for Packers corner Rasul Douglas, I think. And so uh, he's been amazing. He's just been lighting it up. But, yeah, this team, it just needs to one more, just one big splash player. Just take them to the next level. Obviously, they're tight ends, Dawson Knox, and shoot, there was one more I forgot. Dawson Knox and the other tight end, uh, they've both been amazing. So, um, I, I think they're going to be moving up next year. But uh, that will bring us to our number four team. I tried to be as least biased as I could. I could have put them as low as six, but I kept them up as four. I could have put them as high as two, as low as six. I, I don't know. Maybe the way uh, other people get worse. I'm not going to spoil anything. But um, here we have the Detroit Lions at number four. Why? It's because the whole team. The whole team. Amazing. Well, okay. Let me rephrase that. The whole offense has been amazing this year. So, um, for the past two years, maybe even, you know, say three a little bit. But uh, anyways, they've just been amazing. Uh, top five for the past two years. And starting off slow last last year. Uh, who cares about that last last year, nine and eight? Oh, no, we could have done so much better if we didn't start the one and six. But still, this team, hot, ready, young, made for, um, made for this. We They are built for this. Dan Campbell, this coach, he he's he, he just brought the city a new meaning. And this is just something I feel. I feel like Detroit, the city itself, has been getting better as the team has been getting better too. Sadly, the Detroit Pistons aren't, but I'm not too much of a basketball guy. And so the Detroit Lions, just a good, good team. I don't think I don't feel like I'd be saying that for a long time. But here we are. Can we just say something? For the past three draft classes, amazing players. Armin Ross St. Brown, Panay Sewell, um, the, uh, Fiti Melafonwu, I'm probably saying these out of order, Aiden Hutchinson, Jameson Williams, James Houston, amazing. And then th this year, the big four, Jack Campbell, probably my fourth place out of those. Then um, Brian Branch, he's also been amazing. 
Then, um, the amazing tight end. I'll say he's the top five tight end. Disagree with me if you want. Top five tight end, Sam Laporta, amazing guy. And Jameer Gibbs is going to be the number one rookie this year. So, <laughs> this team is going to go up, up, up. Sadly, we do not have a high draft pick this year as we got 29th draft pick. I do not know who we're going to be getting, but um, uh, let's just hope. Although one thing I do have to bring up about the team is the fact the secondary. Horrible, absolutely horrible. <laughs> got torched. Cameron Sutton, he was not a guy for the playoffs. I, we can't just allow this. We, we, there was so many, there was so many, just so many wide receivers putting up career games against us. Not career games. Great games against us. One time, CD Lamb, around 200 yards, a bit more than that. I don't know. We need to address the secondary in the draft. About in homes we trust, in bad homes we trust. But um, yes, uh, that will be all. Number three, we have the best NFC team, according to me, the San Francisco 49ers. Of course, they made the amazing comeback against the Lions. And then they lost in the Super Bowl, which was humiliating because they didn't know the overtime rules. Anyways, yeah, their team has been all around great. Nick Bosa, Christian McCaffrey could have won MVP because of how good he was. Um, Brock Purdy has an amazing story, and it's really fun to watch um, George Kittle play. It's just an amazing team. Let's hope that they go up. Uh, although there has been a lot of controversy with their players. Um, Brandon Ayuk was type tweeting cryptic messages. That will bring us to number two, which could have been number one if it wasn't for the Kansas City Chiefs, which is the Baltimore Ravens. I don't know that, what was their record. It was something and one Lamar Jackson is against NFC teams. Can humiliate NFC teams. Just humiliation against NFC teams. NFC, all I can say is that we, if Baltimore gets to a Super Bowl, it will not be a fun Super Bowl. I'm sorry. Um, Baltimore is an amazing team. And Lamar Jackson is so good that he can throw it to himself. Second and five. Ball batted up into the air. So, yeah, Lamar Jackson, amazing player. Honestly, a top five QB. It's just great, and uh, I hope that this team keeps improving. Oh, I can't go out without saying the amazing defense last year. Very good defense. So just amazing. We can't cut out anything. It's just an amazing defense. Moving on to the number one team, the most toxic fan base, the Kansas City Queefs. Yeah, I'm not calling you the Chiefs. You're the Kansas City Queefs. Nah, nah. <laughs> How do they keep getting away with it? They went 11-6 and six in the regular season. And then, of course, in the playoffs, they do amazing. Uh, obviously, won against the Bills. Wide right. <laughs> Destroyed Tua, Tyga, can't play in the cold, Lola. And then um, ultimately went to the championship where they beat uh, Baltimore in a low-score game. Then went to the Super Bowl, went into OT, got them got got to hold the Chiefs, not Chiefs, got to hold the 49ers to three points, went down the field, and McCole Hardman scores the game winner touchdown for the Queefs. The team, I can't go without saying Patrick Mahomes is a generation plan talent, so I He's just an amazing player. You cannot go without saying it. He's just been amazing for this team. Amazing for the, the whole for the whole generation. He, he might be if he keeps winning like this, he might just be a um he might just be in the race against uh he might just be above Tom Brady. Travis Kelsey. Just break up with her, bro. Uh the wide receivers for the Chiefs can't 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 hold on to the ball, you know. I think that they need to learn some skills. Just go Come on, I'm open. I'm open. You could be standing two feet away from the QB and he would still manage to drop it. Uh, that's why I think they benched Kadarius Tony. But MVS and Hardman both came up when it was clutch uh, in the Super Bowl and the, and the AFC Championship where they got game winners. 
So, um, those are my way too early, like extremely early post Super Bowl power rankings. Um, hope you liked it. Drop a comment below. Have an amazing day and stay safe.